Now, one of the things that we're going to talk about a lot um, in this uh, tutorial is battery life. Now, you may ask why am I talking about that when we talk about brightness and wallpaper. It's because battery life can be conserved um, and utilized in a number of different ways. So, it, it's important to understand that the brighter you make your screen, the more battery it will take up. Now, in general, you could run it on full brightness all day and get, you know, 8 to 10 hours worth of battery out of an iPad 3, 4, whatever it is. Um, but certainly turning it down, just like on any sort of laptop device as well, so reducing the brightness, um, you won't notice it on my screen, but on the iPad that I'm using to reflect on this, um, it'll have... Um, the ability to sort of drop that really um, really brightness down to a level where it's going to conserve a lot more battery. Now, if you have a look at this, as I um, bring this up or bring this down, um, the iPad itself will auto brighten depending on the environment and the sensors that it's got. So in other words, it'll look around the room and it'll see how many candles are all being used and that sort of stuff in the room. And if it's a really bright room, then it'll adjust the iPad to be the same sort of brightness as best it can for your eyes. If it's a really dark room, then again, it won't be as bright because it'll strain your eyes as you look at it. This is examples where, you know, reading in bed with a book and all those sorts of things can be adjusted. So if I was to bring this all the way down, um, you'll notice that it starts, I'm not doing anything here, it's auto-correcting the brightness depending on the room and where I'm at. Also, you can do this from the bottom. So if I double tap um, on my home button and then scroll across to the left, you'll notice that I have a brightness um, down the bottom here. So I can adjust how bright my screen is based on that setting as well. Um, and most people will generally use brightness from this section. Um, and I could turn it all the way down um, if I wanted to, but this is very much manual, manually set. So there's two parts to deal with brightness. You can either do it from inside the settings or you can do it by double tapping down the bottom where majority of people do it. Wallpapers, pretty simple explanation. You can grab any picture off the net or there's heaps of apps to do with wallpapers and set them as both what we call the lock screen and or the um, the home background or the background of the iPad. So if you have a look, the one on the right over here, this one shows my um, screen, uh, my home screen here. Okay, and if I go back into my settings, this one over here is my lock screen. So if I was to lock my iPad, which you get nothing and then push the button, that's what people see. Um, and either one is perfectly fine. Um, but battery life with uh, brightness and wallpapers is it can be something you can control very simply by turning it down, turning it up, depending on what you want to do.